All right, opening question. What one word or phrase in the poem do you think best represents society? We're going to do this in a round robin fashion. You're just going to say the one word or phrase and move to the next person in the circle. Once everybody has shared their one word or phrase, then the floor is open for everybody to explain their answer. We're going to start our way here, and then we're going to end over here. So go ahead and get started. Okay. When there was peace, he was for peace. When, when there was war, he went. Union. Modern union. Rewarding. Was he free or was he happy? Was he free or was he happy? Modern man. Was he free or was he happy? Was he free or was he happy? Modern man. Modern man. That's the story to the modern man. Was he free or was he happy? Free or was he happy? Served. Proper. Had anything been wrong, we should certainly have heard. Was he... Was he free? Was he happy? 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 Opinion. Yeah, he wasn't a scab or odd in his views for the union reports that he paid his dues. We should certainly have heard. Was he free? Was he happy? All right, now the floor is open. So you guys can jump in when you'd like. You can explain your answer and explain why you chose that one word or phrase and why you think that best represents society. describes society because basically the whole poem is showing that the government just can see everything that every citizen is doing and has records and like they can see what his opinion was and like what he was doing and how he thought so they're just saying had anything been wrong they would have known because they like knew everything that was going on I said my line because throughout the story it kind of talks about how everything this guy kind of did was kind of average. Like whenever he was told that something was happening, he would always do it. Like when there was peace, uh, he was before, when he was peaceful, he was the other people were peaceful. And when he was married, he was he was married and five children. And that's kind of like the average for the population. So it's kind of like the average. Nobody's doing more. Nobody's doing less. I said I chose opinion because it illustrates how our society is a society of conforming. I agree with Kate in the way that it, uh, we, sh we should have certainly have heard because it shows how the states or like the people who wrote this you know like every detail about his life and how was he free was he happy the question is absurd like saying oh yeah we would have known if he was free or happy and it's saying how he's like watched him. Going off what Kate and Asher said it's also kind of like talking about how he was average and everyone was kind of like him in a way, like, average amount of children and stuff. I said modern man because modern is basically what's happening in society at that time, and it's a man, so it's like representing society. Mm -hmm. um, I said, was he free, was he happy? The question is absurd. Oh, absurd. And I said that because it doesn't really matter what's going on, like, personally, if it isn't affecting the society, and it overall he seems like he's somebody, just like the normal person like everybody else. All right, we'll jump to our first core question. Again, we can jump in at any time. Please be respectful of others and wait until somebody is done talking before you jump in. Our first question. What has the unknown citizen done that the speaker believes to be good? Again, what has the unknown citizen done that the speaker believes to be good? Would you like me to repeat the question? Yes. Okay. What has the unknown citizen done in the poem that the speaker of the poem believes to be good? Or worthy. When it says that he paid his dues, um, and that when he said, and when it says that on um, line ten, <clears throat> that he wasn't a scab or odd in his views, like it's just saying that he was like a, a good person and that he served what like what he was supposed to do, maybe. Um. Uh, adding on to what Sorrell said, the, the speaker was like. He was saying how he was like average, uh, saying how he wasn't a scab, he worked in a factory which was pretty average, he had five kids which for the population was average, um, and how like they knew what he was doing which they wouldn't know what everyone was doing so it was pretty average and they were 
page with that? Um, the speaker is saying that the unknown citizen, like, does, he didn't do anything special. He just went along with what society wanted him to do and expected him to do. So he didn't do anything special or anything unique. He just was average, went with all the proper opinions, did what was expected of him, and so he was just normal like everybody else. Adding on to what Katie said, on the text it says that in the modern sense of old-fashioned work, he was a saint for everything. For in everything he did, he served the greater community. So I think he was following like Katie said, along the rules, and um, he, he, he didn't really stand out, but he still did it. second question. Who is speaking in the poem? Why does the speaker use first, plural, first person plural nouns such as we and our to refer to him or herself? Again, who is speaking in the poem? Who is the narrator? Why does the speaker use first person plurals like such as we or ours to refer to him or herself? So who is the speaker in the poem? I think it's like an outside person because it's referring to the um, unknown citizen as him and also if it was the unknown citizen and he might know his own name. I think it might have been like a government agent because kind of like what Jacob said, he doesn't really know. But since in this like society, they kind of know like what everybody's doing and like what's on the record. So he kind of knows like what he's been doing lately. So I mean, if he knows like what he's been doing, then it might be like a government agent, somebody. I agree with Warren because it says our reporting to the Indian shows it will sound like authorities usually do the reports and like all the like background information on people. I also agree with Warren because it says like that if anything has been wrong, we should certainly should have heard. And if it's like the normal person like hearing it, then it would be kind of like weird if they just like go and report to just anyone. But if it's like to the government, if they're not happy in their society, they're going to report to their government. Well, in the first line, it says erected by the state, meaning it was this was writ by, written, written with by a um, higher up um, government official. It also says our reports, and so it's saying it's our, showing that it was more than one government official who wrote like higher up and it is they wrote this like based off his life. Um, I agree with Ashman. What everybody's saying is like a government agency kind of. It's like erected by the state, it was erected created by the government. And it's like our report on the union. It's like they've been studying him or like they've been keeping close eyes on him. So like they're like a secret service. Sounds like a lot of you are in agreement that the state or a government official is the one speaking. Now, why do you think the state chose to erect an, a monument for this person? Again, why do you think the state chose to erect a monument for this unknown citizen? Um, probably, probably because um, the state wants everyone to be like the unknown citizen because they want it to be like um, perfect and they don't want any extra like, smart people or something that can harm the government or try to go against them. They do it more. Like, I think they're doing, they're creating a monument. They're like, he was perfect, he wasn't unique, he didn't do anything special, he didn't go against the government. He did everything that he was expected and basically they're like, this is a perfect role model of citizens, and this is like the sort of life that you should follow. And this is kind of like a standard that you should follow as a citizen. To add on to what Katie was saying, I was thinking that um, they made the monument because he was like the perfect citizen, and as we've been talking about like dystopian like societies and stuff like that. I feel like this could be dystopian, showing a little like dystopian something, you know, um, because it ha it's showing that this is like the average person 
but you want to look up to an average person because you want to be an average person in this society. Well, like, it's called the unknown citizen, which is almost like it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing because, like, if he's unknown, then that means he never did anything wrong to, like, harm the state, which is why they would want to build a monument of him. Well, I think they want they, the state erected them this monument for this average person was because they want him to be a role model for all the other people. It appears he was a factory worker, which means he wouldn't have any like high up jobs in the government, uh, meaning he wouldn't <coughs> or he wouldn't be educated enough to um, like overthrow or think about like oh we're being watched and they know everything we're doing. So I think so they want him to be a role model for everyone else. Like this is who we want to be. I'm going to move to the next question. I feel like we have two trains of thought on that question, how we're viewing it. And you guys are repeating the same, similar thing, so we're going to move on to the next question. This is actually going to be a partner question, so I'm going to ask it. And you'll have a moment to speak with your partner about the question. We'll come back together and talk as a whole group. So the question is, at the bottom of the poem, why are the questions, was he free, was he happy, absurd in the poem? Do these questions feel absurd to you? Why do they ask them at the bottom of the poem? Again, why are the questions, was he free, was he happy, considered absurd in the poem? Do these questions feel absurd to you? And why would they use these questions in the poem? Go ahead and take a moment and talk with your partner. <laughs> Take about 30 more seconds. All right, let's pull it back together now. So the question is again, why are the questions, was he free, was he happy, considered absurd in the poem? Do these questions feel absurd to you? And why would the why would they include these questions at the bottom of the poem? The floor is open. Um, so, going back to the last question. Let's focus on this question. Okay. Time well, like it connects to the last. How we're saying, he of course it's like they're saying it's absurd because he had like the most perfect life. And, they're trying to like say that this is perfect, so they're also adding on to the fact that like, of course he was free, of course he was happy, he was so average, and he had like all of this stuff, and he was perfect. Going off what Ian said, except kind of disagreeing, he was like, yeah, he, the government wants everyone to think that if you are like the citizen, you will be free and happy, even though I don't think this guy, if he was real, would be very happy. Because he's just so average and like everyone else, that doesn't make you happy or really free. But well, what if you're okay with being average? What, what if you're okay with it? I agree with Jacob because um, why would you even ask a question when this so, um, he was happy, why would you say he was happy, he was free? Why did you just ask a 